First District Congressman Brad Finstead was among those out at Safe City Nights this evening. That's right. The Republican is settling into his new role after winning a recent special election for the first congressional district. ABC 6 News reporter Alex Cotter caught up with him, too, to see how he's been focusing and what he's been focusing on. Alex? James and Laura, that's right. Congressman Finstad was sworn into his new position just over a week ago. And despite Congress not being in session, he said he's been incredibly busy. He's back home and he stopped by Rochester Safe City Nights to talk with people who voted for him and show support for law enforcement, saying the relationship officers have with their community at the, at the city, state, and national level is incredibly important. Uh, so much of what we do is relationship based and I think we in this country have a breakdown of relationships and that's with law enforcement, that's with government, that's with politicians, that's you know up and down the line and so for me to be a part of events like this and you know hopefully bringing people together just to have conversations is, is the only way I know how to do it and that's the way southern Minnesota knows how to fix things. Before Con Congress took its recess, the congressman got a chance to vote on his first bill, the Inflation Reduction Act. Finstead voted no, but the bill did pass and was signed into law last week by President Biden. You know, I think it was misguided a little bit in the title of the bill. There was a lot of, uh, you know, climate change, a lot of Green New Deal type language in it. Um, on top of just the adding to the overall national debt. So for me, it just didn't feel like it hit, hit the nail on the head when it comes to inflation reduction. Didn't really address uh, gas prices and food prices and some of those things that families have been telling me over the last months that they really want us to work on. He'll return to Washington, D.C. the week of September 13th. Until then, he says he's taking time to visit more communities in his district and talk with voters so he can bring back their concerns to Washington. And while he's serving at the Capitol now, the campaign isn't over. He's still squaring off against Ettinger in the general election to serve as representative for the next two years. James and Laura.